From the inner sense of time Comes the ancient poet's rhyme Bringing us the master key To open up the mystery From the depth of time and space We arrive in quiet grace Finding what is meant to be As we explore the mystery Pouring forth from days gone by We can hear the poet sigh From the depth of ecstasy Moving into mystery Hello and welcome to Creative Connections. I'm your host Gary Blanchard and today my guest is the Executive Director of Workshop 13, Marie Lauderdale. Marie, welcome back. Hi, thank you. Thanks for having me. So what is happening with Workshop 13? Yes, um, well, it's been, you know, an interesting <laughs> year interesting and a half. Year, yes. um, and we're thrilled to say that we're still here, which a lot of arts organizations you know, right, can't say right, that. Yeah. So I think with um, just the support of the community and um, donors, it's, it's been wonderful. So we've been able to kind of ride this out and things are really looking up. Um, Great. Yeah. I, I was at uh, ArtSpace. Artworks. Artworks. <laughs> yeah, I know it gets confusing. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, at my age, you forget. <laughs> you can't always get words. Yeah. And uh, saw the uh, Raining Cats and Dogs oh, yes. exhibit. Uh, and that was really nice. Yep. So, yeah, that was great. That was actually our first post COVID show. So, it was um, a, we did a call for artists uh, to submit artwork that uh, fell under the theme of um, All Creatures Great and Small. Okay. So, we had about 56 submissions, which was pretty awesome. And a lot of animal lovers came out to admire the artwork so it was it was yeah. really great um, yeah that that has been exciting to finally get you know get things moving in that direction sure. again sure. so yeah in artworks um, they're hosting we have a few other shows coming up that are okay. pretty exciting um, we um, in September it's recovery month so we're going to be working with uh, new where uh, where regional recovery center that's right. in town to host a show um, that is called bringing awareness to recovery so it's kind of to um, uh, to address the stigmas around recovery and kind of offer a positive perspective on um, on you know on or by about people um, who are in recovery so that's yeah. gonna be exciting so we'll be I'll be putting out a call for art very soon on that and I think the submissions are due August 23rd so okay. that's, that's gonna that's be wonderful as a uh, licensed alcohol and drug counselor yep uh, I know how important recovery is and how important addressing the stigma is. Yes. And it's wonderful that Workshop 13 is, is doing that. Yes, yes. We're very happy to collaborate with them. In fact, through COVID, I think one of the things that is an organization that we did was really um, revision, adapt, vision and start collaborating more with local organizations. So we had the time to really, um, I, I joined the um, Quebec uh, Community Coalition group, which is um, consists of a number of nonprofit organizations from the region. And through that, we were, you know, just, it was just networking, meeting a lot of people and seeing how we can help because we have this great space and yes. how we can really um, utilize it to the benefit of the community. So. Yeah, so that's exciting. So we're really looking forward to that show in September. And then um, in November, we're going to host the Veterans Art, the second Veterans Art show again. So okay. we did that in 2019, 2020, of course, it right, <laughs> didn't happen. Right. Yes. Um, but this year, that will, that will go on in November. So it'll be right around... Um, Veterans Day, so Wonderful. that'll be yeah. So we're really looking forward to that. But the gallery itself is, um, you know, it's open Friday 
Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we're starting to see more people um, become aware that it's there and stop in to check out it, the art. It's, it's such a wonderful thing to be walking down Main Street and to be able to go in and look at some just amazing art. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> there are, uh, besides the the special raining cats and dogs. Yep. There's also works by Workshop 13 artists. Yes, yes, because the, the gallery is a co-op gallery. So we have uh, we have 10 co-op members, and then we have consigners, and they're all local. And I mean, it's just crazy the amount of talent that we really have here. So yeah, so even if we don't have a show going on, you can always stop in and see the art by artists such as like Rock Goudreau and Gary Lippincott and Susan Pecora, just to name a few right. that might ring a bell. So yeah, so that is, it's, it's um, you know, it's going well and we're constantly getting new um, people approach us about becoming a member. So that's Great. kind of exciting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and we're just thrilled that it um, helps really um, with the revitalization efforts on Main Street. So that has been, um, you know, uh, part of our mission so yeah I, I think you know the arts are such an important part of a community yes and uh, you know I was so thrilled when I first heard of workshop 13 yeah <laughs> and I'm just absolutely thrilled at uh, what it has become yeah yeah, it's been, it's really grown in the last few years. And now it's just about, um, you know, we went through a period of growth and now it's about sustainability and sustaining that growth. And it's looking, it's looking promising though. Like I said, a lot of people um, really like what we're doing here and we're really happy to be here and, you know, just want to continue to offer um, high quality art education and show to the community and really yeah. make that available. It, the art education is, is really nice and you have a lot of children's programming too. We do, we do. So at Workshop 13, our main location on Church Street, we have a number of programs um, for kids and, and adults um, and especially um, summer programs. So if anybody's looking for summer activities for their kids, definitely check our website because <laughs> there's a lot going on. And this year, I'm very happy to say that we received some funding from um, different grant sources to allow us to subsidize the tuition on a lot of those. So that's, that's yeah, so that's always been a, a challenge um, to, as a community organization, um, being able to actually serve the community that we're in because there are a lot of people in the town who say, oh, that looks great, but they just could never afford that. So, sure. you know, sure. so yeah. this is um, this is really, uh, that funding has really enabled us to offer these programs at a, a discounted rate so that it can, you know, um, yeah, so that people can really take advantage of that education. That's so, good. yeah, so that's pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, I think overall, like Workshop 13, um, the programming is, you know, it's it's just we're constantly getting new instructors in and offering different things. Um, I know we have in the fall we have like uh, we're we're venturing out to do things like basket making and you know okay. co constantly adding new new programs. Um, a few weeks ago we had a. I'm going to hopefully I say this right. I think it's called pyrogra pyography. It's wood burning. So okay. one of our artists at the co-op gallery, Loretta, she does um, she does these beautiful paintings with a wood burning tool. And they're, I mean, who knew that you could do more than just, right, yeah. <laughs> you know, carve a name in something. Yeah, right, but like we all did yes, yeah. <laughs> but it's really cool. So I think we're trying, you know, we're um, constantly looking to add more to the, the programming. And I always say to people, like if you have an art or a skill that you want to share, there's a place on our website under education. It's called Teach a Class, and it, there's a lot of information on how to submit a proposal to do that. So, yeah, yeah so. It, it's, uh, I, I know from experience, it's very easy to, to, to do that. And, you know, I think a lot of people have skills that yeah. uh, can be passed on. Yes. And it's wonderful to have that opportunity, have a place. Yes. To, to do that. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, 
yeah, so that's always an option for people. Um, but yeah, we're, Workshop 13 is, you know, besides doing the, the art projects in-house, we're also kind of venturing out to do more public art. So right. you may have seen that. In fact, during COVID, we um, worked on an installation called Where Where. So that was last year, but it's um, on Main Street now. And it's a series of portraits um, they're all like um, kind of masterpiece so like the Mona Lisa and the idea is that one the Mona Lisa will ask where with like w-h-e-r-e -E with a question mark and then Van Gogh answers w-a-r-e -E with an exclamation mark so it's kind of a play with words and you know because yeah, we've yeah. all heard that when we live here where where yeah, <laughs> you know right, right. so that was that was a lot of fun um, it gave our artists something to do during lockdown so we you know well, were, not only that but it took uh, what could be an eyesore yeah uh, you know a vacant building and it turned it into something worth looking at as you drove by. Right, exactly. So rather than kind of look away, people are actually looking at it, which I hope um, kind of draws attention to it as well, to say like, oh, what are those buildings? Are those available for rent? You know, so our, our purpose there isn't to hide the problem, but rather to right. kind of bring attention. And all those pieces, they're temporary. So if those buildings ever were to um, have an interested business come we would be very happy to take relocate that art yeah, right. <laughs> so Absolutely. Yeah, yeah but for the time being it's um it's kind of nice it's fun to look at and um you know and if you do the walk you can see there's plaques next to each painting that tell a little bit about the original artist and what the painting's called so well, that's, yeah that's nice so yeah. it's, it's you know uh, entertaining, but it's also educational. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, yeah, in fact, we've taken a lot of our youth classes down to view it and, you know, encourage a lot of people, families, if you go have dinner at Hannah Devine, stop over and take a look. So, right. yeah, so we installed that, and then um, we did have the wings up that were up right. for a while, and they'd um, kind of run their course, so we took them down this year, and there is some, there, w there was a plan to re- to give them a makeover and reinstall them, but I'm not sure what's happening with that building yet, so we'll wait okay. and see. Um, but yeah, that definitely um, sparked some interest in more public art. So um, recently we were invited by the Friends of the Weird Dog Park to install a mural on this retaining wall. So um, it was just this big eyesore. <laughs> and, yeah. and they said it'd be great to have a mural up there, and we thought, yeah, it would. So we turned it into a fundraiser, and. Um, ask people to make a, for a $75 donation, our artist will hand paint your dog on the mural. And I don't know if you've seen it yet, but. I, you know, <laughs> I, I have not been to the dog park. Okay. Uh, I have watched on Facebook and <laughs> I've been following, uh, you've had videos yep. of you know, people painting the, yep. uh, the, the mural and it's really wonderful. And I often wonder if dogs walk by and say, oh, that's me. <laughs> so it's kind of funny you say that because we had a few a few people have sent us pictures of their dogs just standing, looking at it, kind of barking. And I'm like, oh no, what if this turns into this? The dogs go to the dog park. They're supposed to be playing with other dogs, but yeah, instead they're standing there barking at the mural. That's We've only heard of that a few times, so that's okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah, but it's kind of, it's exciting. We, um, um, you know, we weren't sure how what the response would be, but it's been huge. So we have right now we have seventy dogs to paint. Wow. <laughs> yes, and we've stopped taking, um, I guess, taking more submissions. Um, and now everyone's going on a waiting list. We want to make sure we can get all those dogs on first, and then if there's sure. still room, and if our artists still have the energy <laughs> after all that painting, we'll add some more. So yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. you know, people don't start to think. That is a lot of work. Oh yeah, for the artist. it is. Yeah, and if you look at if you look at the work they're doing, um, it is. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, the dogs. So we've um, when people submitted, they had to fill out a form and submit um, three no four different images of their dog in different poses, and then supply us with the dog's name, the breed, the weight, because we really, for perspective purposes, we needed mm -hmm. to see how big is this dog. Really, can't always tell from a photo. So now right. we're, you know, we print. 
We have everything in binders by small, medium, large dogs, and then by color. <laughs> and so okay. the artists are kind of pulling them out and trying to just see, okay, we're going to put this dog here and this dog here. And yeah, but it's really coming together. And I think the, that's, that's when great. it's done, it's going to be, you know, it'll be a lot of fun. So, um, but we are doing uh, live streaming every time the artists are down there. I go down and do a little Facebook. Um, yeah, I, I think, you know, it, it's wonderful for people to be able to see artists at work. It is, yes. Uh, you know, sometimes we, we get these images of the tortured artist up in the garret, you know, <laughs> starving. Yeah. And, uh, but, you know, to, to see sometimes just the joy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, it, and they're loving this. So this, I mean, all the artists who are painting all have dogs themselves. So okay. it's just, yeah, and often they bring their dogs. So their dogs are playing and getting a little bit out of it as well. So, cool. yeah, so it's been, um, that's been super exciting. And then we have, um, um, we're going to be painting the crosswalk in front of Workshop 13. So okay. if you know the crosswalk um, that goes to the parking lot behind the library. Right. Um, it's just pretty, you know, your average crosswalk, but a lot of towns, um, you know, if you go to Northampton, you'll see art all over the street. They've, mm -hmm. you know, really um, done a lot with public art, and we think that just adds a lot of value to a town. So we're going to be painting that when the, when the mural's done. <laughs> but, um, yeah. yeah, but right now we're just coming up with design ideas, but I think the crosswalk will... Um, say a little something about Workshop 13, so we might have like big piano keys or, you know, something that includes music and art to kind of, you know, make it uh, stand out a little, but still be safe so people can still yeah. see it. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's going to be fun. Um, and uh, yeah, we're doing that. Oh, and then we are also working with um, SMK, the elementary school in town. So our artists are painting a peaceful playground there. And I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but it's um, the idea is that you don't need a lot of fancy equipment to play. You can have these games that are painted on the on the asphalt. So we're designing um, some really cool stuff there. So that's going to be exciting that's as great. well. Yeah, yeah. But so we're we were hoping to get started on that sooner. But as it turns out, like many things, there's. Um, there's kind of a shortage on paint. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, no. you know, it's kind of left over from COVID. There's just a backup. So what, what you would normally be able to get in a few days now is taking four, four to six weeks. Wow. So, yeah, so we, um, um, yeah, we'll get moving on that as soon as the paint arrives. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's exciting. But yeah, we've been, um, I guess through COVID, you know, collaboration, we've been collaborating a lot more with other organizations. So like SMK and then the Hardwick Youth Center, um, their uh, meeting place closed during COVID because it was in a municipal building. So they didn't have a place to meet and they came to us and we said, well, we have a place. So, yeah. so they uh, have been coming to Workshop 13 for several months now and meeting and participating in art programs, both at Workshop 13 and at Clayworks. So yeah, okay. so that's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, so a lot of collaborating. I guess that's what we you know, <laughs> And I, I think that's, that's wonderful. Yeah. You know, uh, it, you, Workshop 13 is a part of the, the neighborhood, a part of the town, and not some, you know, castle on a hill. That's right. Yes. Yeah. It, it is on a hill. <laughs> it is. If I yeah. know every time I try to climb that hill to go to something yeah. of Workshop <laughs> I know. 13. But, yes. Uh, you know, I, I love that, you know, Workshop 13 is so involved. In, in yeah. Town. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's what, you know, um, yeah, we, we really enjoy doing that. So, you know, and part of it is just, again, getting out there, making sure that um, people feel comfortable just walking in our doors. I mean, I always say we have streets surrounding us with kids out and I always like, do you like art? Do you, have you ever been in here? You should come in. You're our neighbor. You know, this is accessible yeah. to you. You just have to come through the door. So that's the message. I guess we really want people to know that, you know, check it out. It's not, you know, we, we have funding. We, we have financial aid available and we really. You know, and that's an important thing for people to know. Yes. Uh, because, you know, uh, it has been tough times for a lot of people. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, there are people who, you know, children, I'm sure, who would love to be involved and in yeah. whose family wouldn't be able to afford it, but right. you know, by yeah. 
Yeah. That's great. So yeah, and our you know the people always say you know you say that you there's financial aid available. What's the process? And I'm like, you just have to ask. <laughs> like uh, often there's no formal forms you have to fill out. Just tell me how many kids do you have? What are they interested in? And let's see what what we can do. So that's um, yeah. So I don't want people to think that it's this daunting process that they okay. have to go through. If, so if. Uh, Parents are out there and they're interested in, in financial aid. How would they get in touch with you? So they just have to email me. Just go on our website and choose. Um, there's information on the website under all the classes that okay. say for financial information on financial aid, just email Marie at workshop13.org. Okay. And that's pretty Wonderful. much it. <laughs> it's, so yeah, much it's pretty great. simple. So, I, you know, we don't want to just make it complicated and discourage people. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's um, so that's that's something that's, you know, new and kind of exciting. Um, I don't know how long we'll be able to offer a full load. It all is right. dependent on sure. grant funding. So, right. Right. you know, which we've been doing a lot more of through COVID. I think all arts organizations were forced to kind of like, uh-oh, you know, now we... Um, a focus before may have been on programming, but because the programs weren't running, the focus turned into f funding and how to stay on top of what was being offered, you know, the grants that were offered through the state and just what we could do to, what we can apply for to keep, to keep us here, you right. know, right. <laughs> so that was important. But um, yeah, so, you know, we were, we were able to do that and it's been, you know, it's been pretty good. Good, good. So, yeah, um, but other things at Workshop 13, so we haven't um, been able to have uh, events in the Grand Hall. Well, I shouldn't say we haven't. We, we had one, I think, two weeks ago. It was the first event since February of 2020. <laughs> and it was, we hosted the Aware River Community Jazz Band, which was really, um, I mean, they're awesome. I don't know they if you've do. ever heard of them. They're really, really good. So that was, um, that was a great show. But uh, generally, we don't do much in the Grand Hall over the summer because there's no AC in there, and it can get quite warm. So, yeah. so we don't run our normal open mics or concerts. Um, so those are all going to resume in September, and we're super excited, and we hope people feel comfortable coming, you know, coming out and being in an enclosed space. So Yeah, I, I, I think that uh, people are coming out yep. to, to things. Uh, you know, a lot of people are vaccinated and, yep. uh, you know, now feel comfortable doing that. Yep. Uh, I know, I for one, I'm looking forward to the open mic. Yes. Uh, I, yes. <laughs> it's, it's always so much fun. And the, what I love about the open mic at Workshop 13 is that you have so many people who come just to listen. Oh, yeah. It's a great listening so audience. So many open mics are the whole audience is musicians waiting their turn. Yes, yes, yes. Our our audience is very much a listening audience. In fact, if they come with a big party and they're loud and talking, they're definitely going to get kind of the stink eye from a lot of other people around them, going, "Hey, shh," you know, yeah. <laughs> tone as, it down. As, as a you know a, a singer songwriter, I. You know, I put a lot of effort into words. Yes. It's like, gee, I'd like people to hear them. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and, and Workshop 13, I've, I've always been able to do that. Yes, yeah. So we're, yeah, we're super excited to resume that. That will be um, September 17th, I believe. That starts starts back up. Um, so, and then after that, it'll be the third Friday of every month, as it always was. Um, but in addition to open mics, we're adding some new programming, which is, you might be interested in. We're going to do a series of um, kind of spoken word, poetry slam, storytelling, okay. things of that nat nature. So we want to reach out and just see how you know, how, what the response is to that. But, but um, a lot of artists have contacted us about doing that, and we would love to add that to the yeah, that's great. list. So something to look forward to, and I think that'll probably start in October. We don't have a firm date on that yet. Okay. But yeah, but before we get to um, resuming events in the Grand Hall, we have a lot of other things happening. Um, uh, in the, let's see, on August 28th, we're um, doing kind of a welcome back concert at Grenville Park. So we're having, um, it's the 28th from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. and we'll have three bands and um, 
or three performers rather. The first one is like an acoustic Do In fact, it's Jared, your next guest. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then we'll have um, two other bands after that. Um, food trucks, a beer garden. You know, this is an event that we were supposed to have in June of 2020, and it was supposed to be an all-day music and arts festival with vendors, and we had an enormous thing planned. And because of COVID, of course, we couldn't we couldn't do that. Right. So we're doing it now, but a little bit on a on a scaled back version because okay. we couldn't quite. Um, we were still unsure about having all the vendors and all the right, kids' activities sure. and what was going to be allowed. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so we are doing something. And then next year, but this will be an annual event. So we're working with the town and the parks department. And, you know, Wonderful. so it will be something, hopefully, to bring new people to the town and just, you know, um, this is who we are. So, okay. yeah. Uh, we have a couple minutes left. Any okay. other exciting things? Yes, let me give you a few more things. So a few... Um, Let's see. Oh, so July 23rd at 1 p.m. we have Fran Ferry. Do you, have you, you know Fran Ferry? Yeah. The magic of Fran Ferry. So he is a comedian slash magician who um, actually lives in Belchertown. And he does a fantastic family-friendly show that is oh, just that so fun. So that is 1 p.m. on July 23rd. Um, it is a suggested donation of $10 per family, though. So, oh, okay. Um, but uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. So definitely, you know, hopefully you save the date and make it to that event. And then we have um, August 12th, we're hosting uh, another, another um, person, I guess his name is, he goes by um, the Machine Jesse Green. And he has, <laughs> he, he has a program called um, Chainsaws, Cheeseburgers, and Rock and Roll. And <laughs> basically, he's a motivational speaker, but he studied sculpture in art school and then um, kind of found a love for carving wood sculptures with a chainsaw. Okay. And now he has like a um, show on National Geographic called American Chainsaw. But he, he goes around to schools and to different all kinds of functions and does, you know, motivational speaking about how you can turn something you're passionate about um, into like a career and how you can yeah. make a living doing yeah. that. So yeah, so he's going to be a lot of fun and that's, um, though it's all ages, I think probably better for like third grade and up, you right. know, but adults too. So that will be fun. So that's August 12th at 1 p.m. And um, yeah, Rock the Park. Oh, and then September 11th we have, we're hosting um, Super Group. That's the Eagle Tribute Band with Charlie Lask. So okay. well, that was the last show that that My you and oh right well they're coming back so right. <laughs> yep so that's well, September 11th time, okay but I have got to get you to come back soon yep. and tell us more of what's going on at Workshop 13. Yeah absolutely I'd love to and if anybody wants to know just visit workshop13.org that's our website follow us on Facebook and you'll learn all about what we have going on great cool well thank you for coming and thank you all for tuning in we'll see you next time on Creative Connections thank you From the inner sense of time Comes the ancient poet's rhyme Bringing us the master key To open up the mystery From the depth of time and space We arrive in quiet grace Finding what is meant to be As we explore the mystery Pouring forth from days gone by We can hear the poet sigh From the depth of ecstasy Moving into mystery